I say? What's the ruckus all about? It's perfect. Yes, a perfect spot for the carnival. Mm, far be it from me to stand in the way of a carnival. Uh, I'll just pack a few things. <laughs> Looking for him, I never fight on less than a full night's sleep. Pain in the fluid. I can't wait to see the look on his face. Yes, yes, I hear him, Alouette. Morning, Father. Surprise! Happy birthday, Pinocchio. Gee, Willikers! I didn't know I had a birthday. Well, you've been a real live boy for a year now. And real children have birthdays every year. Every year? That's right. And you can't have a birthday without having a party. Yay, a party! Don't worry, Alouette. There's one for you, too. Now, make a wish and blow out the candle. I wish my fairy godmother was here so I could say thank you. If it weren't for her, I'd still be a puppet. Like some cake. <laughs> Thank you, Geppetto. I can only stay a moment. I'm proud of you, Pinocchio. Happy birthday. I made that myself. He learns everything so fast. He almost looks alive. 
you made him with love. And if he were alive, he'd have a loving heart. When you became a real boy, Pinocchio, you were given a special gift. Freedom. Freedom is something that you earn day by day. So don't throw it away. You have heart and soul enough you need them both when life is rough But nothing works without love So let love guide your way You are free to go and be Whatever you may want to be But when the night surrounds you Remember what I say Love is the light inside your heart When you stumble in the dark If you're lonely, let love shine There's no deceiving, you'll find out It's all relieving Love is the light inside your heart It won't let life fall apart Keep on shining your light every day And in this turning world when I see you again I hope you still know what makes the heart for granted, you might lose it. You might even become a puppet again. Who could turn me back into a puppet? I really must go now. Happy birthday. Enjoy your present. What present? Always remember, freedom of choice. It's your greatest power. Use your freedom wisely. I didn't even get to say goodbye. There now, son. I'm sure she knows. Oh, my. The time. I forgot all about the mayor's box. The mayor? That's right. He's paying us ten gold pieces. I promised to deliver it this morning. As soon as I get back, we can finish your party. I know where the mayor lives. Could I take the jewel box? Oh, I don't know, son. This is our most valuable order ever. Please? I promise I'll take it right to the mayor and then come right home. Yeah, I suppose you are getting old enough to handle some responsibility. Very well, Pinocchio. Oh, boy! Now, don't forget. Write to the mayor's, then write home. I promise. My friends can keep me company. And Pinocchio, I heard the carnival came to town last night. The carnival? I don't want you going anywhere near it. Those places aren't safe. But... No buts. <laughs> now run along, and as soon as you get back, we'll cut the cake. Don't worry, Father, you can count on me. Car.
on. And just where do you think you're going? Going? I, I, I wasn't really going. I was just... Wait a minute. Who said that? Hey, down here. You're alive? That's right. But, but, but how? Look at Fairy. Same as you. I'm your birthday present. What's your name? Well, my boy, you carved me. So, it only seems right that you should name me. Me? Gee, Willikers! Hmm. Willikers? You've got a nice ring to it. Willikers it is! What? We better get along to the mayor. You promised to pet out. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> Take a quick little peek at the carnival. Step right up, dear friends. Step right up. Everyone's a winner in Scalawag's famous three kill game. And now, to assist me, one happy little mouse. We place the mouse under the shell, and all you have to do is keep your eye on the shell with the mouse. That's it, that's it. Keep your eye on that one little shell. A shell that can change life. Imagine yourself rich behind your wildest dreams. Why, just yesterday, a fellow in the next county became the proud winner of a new cottage, a new wagon, and an old cow. Hey, Igor. He's right, boss. Couldn't agree bigger. <laughs> I believe that fine gentleman over there would like to place a wager. Oh, why not? What about the rest of you? Anyone else care to place a bet? Come, come now. Surely you believe in your ego-eyed friend here. You really? Oh, dear me, Igor. We stand to lose a fortune to these fine people. And which will it be, you clever champion of chance? The middle one. The middle one? Good heavens, the sky is falling! My mistake wasn't falling, just sagging a bit. Now then, we shall see what's under the middle shell. I go off! Under the shell we find nothing. Ooh. Can I change my guess? Next time, dear man. But do stay in touch. Hey, hey my money. Feel like an old stretch of the legs, dear Igor? Is exactly how I think it. <laughs> I'd like to give you a flying lesson. <laughs> nice offer. Maybe next day I do. No need to thank me. In you go. <laughs> I got a big noise. Perfect landing. To Lester J. Scalawag at your service. You are... Dizzy. Uh, I mean, Pinocchio. A splendid name. Melodious rolls off the tongue. 
his niceness. My colleague, Igor. Uh, I better be going. Nice meeting you. Boss! Wait! I wonder if you might give us a moment of your precious time. Hey, Pinocchio! Tell these two clowns to watch where they're going. We have talking pocket. Yes, yes, quite charming. Pinocchio, let's get going. Surely you have time for a quick round of cards. 82 C, nine card, no draw, highball, low ball, in between ball. Hey! Now listen here, you big bag of wind. I'm not gonna stay. Hey. <coughs> now, about our little game. I'm not very good at games. Oh, but you might improve. Just a minute, dear light. Why the hurry? I have to get this jewel box to the mayor. The mayor, you say? Ooh, box too good only for mayor. It is extraordinary. Perhaps Mr. Pinocchio would do us the honor of selling us this remarkable work of art. Oh, I can't do that. The mayor's buying it for ten gold pieces. Is that all? <laughs> Unbelievable! It's insult! It is? I can see you're a shrewd businessman. Igor, it will have to be the Pharaoh's ruby. Huh? The Pharaoh's ruby. Do you remember? Oh, the Pharaoh's ruby. But boss, is our most prized possession. I know, dear friend. I know. It's most best ruby whole world. I not let you do this thing. We'll hate yourself next day. I hate you day after. Say no more, I go. to be true. I wonder if Father will ever forgive me. I'm not very good at being a real boy. Sometimes I think it was easier being a puppet. Now, let's not get carried away. Father, enough trouble. I'm never gonna hurt him again. Why, Pinocchio, I'm proud of you. I'm leaving. You're gonna do what? That way I won't make Father sad anymore. Maybe I can even get a job at the carnival. Tell Father I'm sorry about the jewel box. That I love him very much. Now, now, just one minute! This is the last drop! Come one, come all! It's the final night of the carnival! Your last chance to experience the thrills of a life! Our star attraction is about to begin in the main tent. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the world's most beautiful puppet, Twinkle. New York to Paris, London to Rome. Dreamers and dancers don't need a home. I want to go where I will Take what I wish and tear up the bill Dreaming and dancing Do what makes you happy Life of 
Come too. Hey, hey, you. Me? You look a lot like a puppet I saw once. Name was Pistachio. That's Pinocchio. And I'm not a puppet anymore. My fairy godmother turned me into a real boy. Oh, your fairy godmother, eh? <laughs> Come here. Oh, uh, uh, I better be going. Pinocchio. Oh, leaving so soon. What a shame. Twinkle was hoping you might dance with her. Oh. You look like a very talented young boy. You have all the makings of a big star. Well, maybe just a little star. Everyone will want to be your friend. It's a wonderful life. <laughs> well, I might consider being a star. Of course. You'd have to be able to sing and act. Singing, acting, no problem. My main thing is dancing. I really am a pretty fair dancer. Uh, I bet you are. <laughs> I have a feeling you and Twinkle are really going to win it all. Why don't you show the little lady a couple of steps, my boy? Well, I suppose I might. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> You'll stop when I want you to, just like the rest of my puppets.
I guess I showed that basket who's boss. Now how on earth am I gonna rescue that foolish boy? Not a bad move for a mere worm. Hey, I'm not a worm. I'm a grub. Worm, bag, what's the difference? Cut me loose, sir. I say. Carry on, old chap. <sighs> what a dickens. I <laughs> word. <laughs> I hope I didn't hurt him too badly. Got off rather lucky, I say. I was about to give them the threshing of their lives. Next time, I won't let you off so easily. Luke was obviously unaware of my reputation. Your reputation? Grumblebee's the name. Lieutenant Grumblebee of the R.A.B. R.A.B.? Royal Air Boat. We take on any enemy. Go where no bug dares. Look fear in the eyes and make it blink. Hey, maybe you could give me a lift to the carnival. Carnival? <laughs> Are you mad? I wouldn't say wing me out there. It's dangerous. Well, I don't blame you for being afraid. I guess I'll just have to call. Afraid? How dare you, sir? I don't know the meaning of the word. I'll laugh. Uh, I'll take you to the woods near the carnival. You can crawl from there. That's pain in the blooming finger. Pinocchio, you poor dummy. Now you've gone and done it. All right. A glowbug's got to do what a glowbug's got to do. <clears throat> He'd listened to his fairy godmother. Pinocchio! Hey there, Pinocchio! Wake up! Wake up! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, uh, gosh, ma'am. I, uh, Pinocchio, uh, I know. You took 
your freedom for granted, Pinocchio. And because you did, you lost it. Why aren't you home in bed? Well, uh, see, after dinner, I went outside to empty the trash. I mean, a person really has to keep up with his chores if he wants to, uh... I turned around, and there, coming towards me through the moonlight, was a band of, uh... Pirates! They were looking for someone to capture. And I guess I was just the first person they... Oh, no! Well... I'm sorry, Fairy Godmother. I wasn't telling the truth. Oh, really? Telling how long you might have been Puppetino's slave. Puppetino's master will be very angry he lost you. His master? Who? I hope you never have to find out. Now remember, the gift of life is yours to take care of. Next time I might not be there. It's nearly dawn. We can still get back home before Geppetto wakes up. I'm not going home. Oh, my gosh. Now what? I'm going to be responsible. What are you talking about? I'm going to get Father's toolbox back. Give me strength. Maybe someday I can find a way to make you free, too. For the last time, Pinocchio, I beg of you, go back home. Geppetto will be worried sick. Hmm, maybe you're right. I knew you'd come to your senses. Thank heavens you've learned your lesson and... Hey! What are you doing? I have to find the toolbox, but you can go home and tell Father not to worry. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not going to let you get yourself in trouble again. Don't worry. This time I'll be careful. Wait! Come back! Oh, I can't jump to him. I'm going to give him a good kick in the pants. I'll give him four kicks in the pants. Pinocchio. Now, now, Pinocchio, let's forget about the box. Today is a new day and... Pinocchio? He's gone. Oh, it's all my fault. I was too hard on him last night. Oh, poor sweet Pinocchio. I love that boy more than he'll ever know. I'm going to find him. We keep Puppetino fair and square. He fall for old trick, pick wrong shell. But you say he win and give to him... Puppetino up. is a very big man. He's true. And a very dangerous one. Also he's true, but I don't... 
There's an old saying in our line of work. Better to run away than live to cheat another day. It's very poetic. <laughs> Boss, it's Pinocchio, yes? So it is. And you remember what Puppetino said. Oh, 50 gold pieces to anybody who bring Pinocchio back to Carnival. The carnival packed up and moved downriver this morning. Maybe not such good idea, boss. When carnival go down the river, go to bad place. Don't be silly, dear boy. We'll have our gold and be gone long before the carnival gets there. Maybe yes, maybe not. Fifty gold pieces. It's tough to argue with you, boss. <laughs> Mr. Pinocchio! Charming girl, Miss Twinkle. Where's my jewel box? What can the matter be? You can't fool me. That was a fake ruby. The Pharaoh's ruby? Incredible. Maybe it was steak Pharaoh. Where's my jewel box? I fear we are comrades in misfortune, my young friend. No sooner had we left you than we were set upon by a gang of thieves. They were led by a ruffian by the name of Puppetino. I think he may be with a carnival. Then you know the scout. So you see, we are quite helpless. Unless... What? What? Tell me! Well, the carnival has already left. But perhaps if the three of us were to track it down... Yeah, that's what we'll do! Never in all my travels have I encountered a young man of such courage. After Pinocchio, our fearless leader. This way? Flower, Grumblebee? That's Lieutenant Grumblebee. <laughs> and I had just made a brief stop for a little nip of the old butt. If it's any of your business. <laughs> I say you had one nip too many. Mm, well, I'll best be off. Far be it from the Royal Air Pug to... to Italy. I say, Willock, dear sport, give me a leg up, would you? Sure, sure thing, Grumblebee. Uh, on one condition. I say, Willikers, a royal flyer's got more important things to do than to show her words about. I'm a lover, and you agree to help me find Pinocchio. And so I will, sir. There it is. There what is? Bugs Bird? My hometown. <laughs> home, sweet home. What? It's a whole town. But, but I thought we 
we were looking for Pinocchio. Even I couldn't find him alone. We need the help of our fellow bugs. Mr. Mayor, Lieutenant Grumblebee, R.A.B., at your service, sir. Oh, no. Don't I already have enough troubles? Ah, uh, my friend Willikers has a lost soldier, and he's come for your help, sir. Help you? We can't even help ourselves. What's he talking about? <laughs> You stuffed monkey and hung on the wall of my head. He's a big one, isn't he? My statue! Sir, how are we going to find Pinocchio pinned under a rock? Well, a uh, uh, conference. Uh, we must have a true conference. See here, I'll have no cry buggies in my command. I want you to remember, no bug ever won a war by being lunch of the enemy. Ah! Ah, ha, ha. If it's a fight you want, you've come to the right bee. <laughs> was no match for me and my assistant. Uh, I say, what is it? Your friend, Wilkins. 
You don't mean to say... <laughs> I let him down, and now he's gone. I rarely miss the old chap. <laughs> he was the finest piece of wood I've ever known. What do you mean? Piece of wood? I'm just as much bug as you are. It's a ghost. Get hold of yourself. You're alive. Of course I'm alive, you big sap. I just got along as soon as it hit the drink. <clears throat> you have a profoundest pain Don't mention it, my good man. When the going gets tough, the tough get fuzzy. Now... About my friend Pinocchio. Every bug and bug we're going to be looking for him. Just tell us what he looks like. Well, uh, he's real tall. And he... <sighs> this is life truly, boss. We fought a good ship. You know, I go off. I've been thinking. Maybe it's time we retired. Found a place to settle down. Home a very own? Once we catch up to the carnival and turn Pinocchio over to Puppetino, we'll have enough gold to retire. Mr. Scalawag! Mr. Igor! I finished shoveling all the coal into the engine. Aye, aye, Captain Pinocchio. Have you swapped the deck yet? Uh, I was thinking... Maybe you could swab the deck while I fish. A noble gesture indeed. But as I said, fishing in these waters is quite hazardous. We can't risk anything happening to our leader, can we? I guess not. That's why I thought it best that Igor and I undertake the miserable and thankless task of fishing. Everyone makes sacrifice. You two are the best friends I ever had. Dangerous. <laughs> Rather imaginative, if I do say so myself. I Dear boy. 
You save lives of us. <laughs> well, you're my friends, aren't you? And once we found your Pinocchio, I can get back to my duties. You know, I've been thinking. We make a pretty good team. Maybe you can help me get Pinocchio back home. <laughs> well, uh, I'm sorry about that, old boy. A royal airbound always works alone. Well, okay. That's how you want it. Phil, I suppose you do really need me, and... Uh, Look, up ahead! And so, my dear fellow, Igor and I were thinking that we may have been a bit hasty in our decision to pursue the carnival. Hey, come on! We'll get my jewel box. I know we can do it. The three of us. Uh, there's something I may have neglected to tell you. There it is! It's the carnival. It's going on that big ship. Big ship? No, big trouble. <laughs> Igor's right. We must turn around. Not until I get that jewel box. Boss, do something. Please, you don't understand. Let go. Now oh, look what you've done. The river follows us right to ship. But will it goes I don't worry. I can float. We take wrong turn. Where are we? I fear we've sailed into the empire of the night. <laughs> Boss, don't see these things. All aboard! Huh? Would you like a ride? Now, Pinocchio! You mustn't go! I'm looking for a jewel box. It came in with the carnival. Do, do you know where they went? Why, yes. Come aboard. Pinocchio, don't go! I know you. You'll take me where I want? Oh, yes. Wait for me! Dreams come true? A land where dreams come true? It's 
the place where children get anything they wish for. What have you always dreamed of? Fun with no rules? All the toys you want? Being a famous star? Uh, how do you know? The box you think is in the other direction. I'll go that way. Unless, of course, you'd rather go to the land where dreams come true. Could we just take a quick peek? Now, just one minute. I thought we were... I won't stay long, I promise. As you wish. Pinocchio. You mean uh, I can have fun too? Oh, of course. <laughs> but there's one small thing we ask in return. What's that? When you finished, you'll have to sign this little agreement. That's all? I'll do that. Now can I go have fun? Perform. Now come on! It's curtain time! 
It's going to be curtains, all right. Hello, mister, you're a star The one and only is who you are The moves that you make make a million hearts break You're a star, yes you are Sing, dance, sing, touch the romance, No beginner, you are gone You're the one who came along With just that look and just that song The world seems to know a real star by the glow You're a star, so you are Singing, dancing, sex, romancing No beginner, you are born Yeah. <laughs> 
Every father ever see Pinocchio again. And so you see, dear boy, the emperor gets his power from those called prey to their own temptations. You mean just because I had a little fun? I'm afraid we all let our judgment be swayed by our desires. That's what the emperor counts on. What emperor wants? Every time someone gives up their freedom, a good fairy grows weaker, and the emperor grows stronger. If the only puppet ever to get his freedom were to lose it, it would be a terrible blow to the good fairy. It might even destroy her. So that's it! The emperor wants to use me to hurt my fairy godmother! Well, we'll just see about that. The Emperor is waiting. <laughs> and he's got a little surprise for you, Pinocchio. Hogs as sick as Yorkshire pudding. But not half as tasty. Good heavens! Willis has joined the Navy! Get me out of here! And bolt to the rear! You came after me. Well, I thought you might be in a bit of a spot. Will you help me find the carnival ship? Fog's too thick up ahead. Never be able to fly through it. We don't have to fly. Ah, you nilly. I could be drummed out of the Royal Air Box for this. Fade in the blooming stinger! Well, Pinocchio, are you ready to sign away your freedom? I told you before, I only want my father's jewel box. The box you want your box, do you? Yes, sir. Boss. He up to no good. We have to do something. You, your highness. Perhaps my colleague and... And I could sign in place of the boy. Sign! <laughs> of course, if you do have your heart set on Pinocchio. I'll never sign. Never! You're a brave boy, Pinocchio. So I hope you decided to return your box and let you go free. Give Pinocchio what belongs to him. My jewel box! Pinocchio! Mr. Emperor, uh, do you think I could take Twinkle too? Very well. One more thing, Pinocchio. There is something in the box for you. It came our way just before you did. Pinocchio, are you all right? Father, what they done to you? Ah. No, Pinocchio! This is all my fault, Father. I've got to make things right. <laughs> and this time, not even the good fairy will be able to save you. In a few moments, the transformation.
Take them all to the dungeon. No! You promised! <laughs> this isn't fair! <laughs> hey! Father! Get him! Pinocchio, run! Boss, Pinocchio, which one? Your darkness. <laughs> Shall I teach you a lesson? No. He will fail. They all won't deal my infinite little puppet. You're so strong and powerful. Why did I have to sign? Why didn't you just make me into a puppet anyway? Only you can choose your fate. That's right. Never to see you again! Pinocchio! I'm not afraid. I choose it! I choose too!
okay. I do a job all myself. <laughs> Turn, Father. Hang on. You've destroyed my ship, but you will not escape. Your father will pay me for what you've done. No, no, put him out. Please, don't hurt him. It's me that you want! You are not going anywhere! Young Hipper Snapper over there has stolen his clothes. Pinocchio, is that you? Father? Oh, I love you, son. I was so afraid we'd lost you. Why, it's daytime. We escaped the Emperor of the Night. You're big again. The Emperor's magic wore off! <laughs> well done, dear boy. You saved Nix from all and one. <laughs> Pinocchio, you're not a puppet anymore. You're real. I am. I'm a real live boy again. Poor Twinkle. If only we could have saved her, too. Twinkle, you're real too. A real little girl. I'm free. I did. Fairy Godmother. It was you. You fixed everything. No, it was you. You were willing to sacrifice yourself to save your father. The jewel box! <laughs> Farewell, Pinocchio. I don't think you'll be needing me anymore. Goodbye, fairy godmother. I'll never forget you. Here, Father. Pinocchio, you're the best son a father could ever ask for, and I love you very much. <clears throat> well, Villikers, looks like you won't be needing the royal air bugs any longer. I'm sure gonna miss you. <laughs> Ten hut! I hereby dub you Private Last Class in the Royal Ground Bands. 
Gee, I don't know what to say, Grumblebee. That's... I know, I know. Lieutenant Grumblebee. Now, what say we all go home? Hooray for home! Couldn't have said it better myself. Oh, no.